AI is great, but AI with automation is even better. Hello, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. In this video, we are going to see how you can combine the power of AI with your favorite apps which you use the most, like Google Sheets, Telegram, WhatsApp, or Slack, and you can have the power of AI in those tools as well. Now, what do we mean by adding the power of AI in the tools? Let me show this to you with the help of an example. So here you can see we are on my Telegram account. In my Telegram account, I have created a bot and using automation, I have connected this bot with the multiple AI tools which I use to generate some images, to generate some text, or to convert text into speech. Now, as I'm going to send a message to this bot, automatically using automation, those texts will be sent as a prompt to AI tool, and using automation itself, we will be getting the response from the AI tool back in the same chat. So let's check it. I'm going to write, for example, slash image. I want to generate an image, and the prompt is rose garden, and mountains covered with snow. Rose garden in mountains covered with snow. This is the prompt which I'm giving to this bot. And as I send this message, after sending the message, we will see within few seconds using AI, the image will be generated for the same prompt which we have given. And we are going to get the AI generated image back in the same chat in the same bot is there. So using automation, we have connected this bot with AI tools like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Leonardo AI, or any other AI tools of your choice. And here in response, you can see we have received the image, and this is the image for the same prompt which we have given. Rose garden in mountains covered with snow. Now also to the same bot, if I want to convert some text into speech, I want to give the text prompt, and I want the audio for that particular prompt, we can do that. Just enter slash DTS, and we are going to paste the text over here. After entering the text, we are just going to send it. And because we have used slash TTS, slash text to speech, it is going to convert this whole text, this whole message into an audio file. And in response, you can see we have received it. Let's play this audio file once over here. To learn how you can use the power of AI and automation, watch this video till the end. So now you must be thinking how we actually did it. How we have connected our Telegram bot with multiple AI tools and make our Telegram bot an AI chatbot. We don't have to communicate, we don't have to use multiple AI tools at once. I just communicate, I just give the prompt to my Telegram bot as a message, and instantly within seconds, I get the response from the AI tool. Now to make this happen, we have used an amazing automation and integration platform named as Pavli Connect. So Pavli Connect is an automation and integration tool using which you can connect your favorite apps and services and automate your tasks. So here you can see we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard to get your own Public Connect account, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. After signing into Public Connect, we have to create an automation workflow over here. So you can just click on this create workflow button and start creating your automation workflow. But if you want to use this similar automation workflow for Telegram bot, you don't have to start it from the scratch. I have already created the automation workflow that I'm going to show you. So if you want, you will get a clone link of this exact same workflow which I'm going to show you in the description box below itself. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Now in this automation workflow, we have selected Telegram bot as our trigger. Now this is because we want to receive the same message which we are sending to our Telegram bot in our Public Connect workflow. And as we send the message, this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. So using this connection, the message we sent is received inside Public Connect, and using Public Connect, we are going to send the message as a prompt to different AI tools in the next step. So first step is to capture the messages we are sending to a Telegram bot in Public Connect. So that's why we have connected our Telegram bot with Public Connect. Now, if you want to know how you can connect your Telegram bot with Public Connect, how you can create a bot in Telegram and connect it with Public Connect, we already have a dedicated video live on the channel. Now, after connecting our Telegram bot, here you can see we have captured the response. And in this response, we have the text message which we have sent to Telegram. We will scroll down. We will see the chat ID of the user. So this is the chat ID of the same person, the same user who is sending messages to this bot. So every person, every user on Telegram has a unique chat ID. So in this way, we know that from which user we are getting the request, we are getting the messages. After receiving the prompt, after receiving the message, in the next step, we have to decide that what is the command we have given to this bot. So we have slash TTS, slash image, and slash text. Right now, I've created this automation for three different commands. I want to generate some image, either I want to write some content or text, 
or I want to convert text into speech. If you want, you can just add multiple routes in this automation workflow. So here you can see we have came to action window and in action window, we have selected a feature, a module of Pabli Connect that is called router. So using router by Pabli, we have created different routes, different branches in this automation workflow. And for each and every command or for each and every AI tool we want to use, we have created a different branch, a different route. Like we have the first route for image. So if I have written, I have added a filter condition in this particular route. The filter condition over here is if I am writing slash image with the message. Like if the message which we are sending, if the message starts with slash image, in that case, the automation workflow will be continued using this route. In the next step, we are going to extract the prompt. So we are sending the message with this slash image command or slash text or slash TTS command. So first we are going to extract the exact same prompt given by the user from this message. As you can see, we have removed this slash command from the message. And in the next step, we have given this command, we have given this message as the prompt to AI tool. So I'm using OpenAI's DALI 3 to generate the image. So the first AI tool which I'm using is DALI 3 over here and I'm giving the prompt to DALI 3. After giving the prompt and entering all the details, in response, we are receiving the image URL, the URL of the image which we have given. So the prompt which I have given over here was kids playing with snowball and we have received the image for the same prompt. We will just open this image in a new tab and here you can see this is the image which was generated by DALI 3 for the prompt I have given. So using AI, we have generated the image and in response, we have the image URL. Then we want to send this exact same image given by AI back to the user as we have received over here. So that's why once again, we have added this Telegram bot action step this time. And because we want to send a message or with a photo, we have selected send a photo action event. Now to that, we have entered the chat ID that using this bot to which particular user, to which particular chat, we want to send the image. So we have received the chat ID in the trigger step. So from this drop down here, you can see a list of responses from previous step. We have selected the response of chat ID and we have mapped it over here. Then in caption, we have mapped the same message given by the user, the same prompt which the user has sent us. We have added the same message in the caption of the image. In this way, if you are generating, if you are asking this Telegram bot to generate multiple image in multiple commands, in that case, you won't get confused. And here in URL or file ID, we have mapped the URL, we have mapped the link of the same image given by OpenAI or DALI 3. And in this way, we have sent the image given by AI, generated by AI as the message for the prompt which we have given. Similarly, by following the same concept, we have created the other two routes as well. In route two, we have this route for text. So the filter condition is slash text. Like if the message which we are sending starts from slash text, in that case, we are going to use this particular route. And here in the next step, we are once again splitting the prompt. We are splitting or removing the slash command from this message. And then we are giving this prompt to ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is the second AI tool which we are using right now. And we using ChatGPT, I want to generate some text content over here. Now, instead of this, you can basically use any other AI platform of your choice in this automation workflow. But right now, I'm using GPT-4 to generate the content. I have given the response from the previous step split text to this prompt. And then here in response, you can see we have generated content in the response. Now, after generating the content, we want to receive the same content as a reply by the same Telegram bot. So once again, we have added this Telegram bot action step as the last step of this route. And this time, because we don't want to send any kind of image, we want to send a text message. We have selected the action event as send a text message or reply. We have mapped the chat ID. Once again, we have connected our Telegram bot account. We have mapped the chat ID from the trigger responses. And we have mapped the text content given by chat GPT from the previous step. And we have sent it as a reply. So in this way, if we write slash text command and give the prompt, the same prompt is taken to chat GPT. Chat GPT generate the response for the prompt which we have given, generate some text, and the same text is received by Telegram bot in the reply. And similarly, we have used the third route. We have created the third route for text to speech. Now to convert text into speech, I am using Eden AI. So I've added a filter condition as slash TTS. So if I'm writing slash TTS command in the beginning of the message, the automation workflow will be used or will be continued using this particular rule. And after doing this, in the next step, we are separating or we are splitting the prompt from the text. 
and then using Eden AI, we are going to convert the text into speech. So I have using Eden AI as a third AI platform in this automation. So you can see we have used different AI models, different AI platforms in the same Telegram bot. And we have created routes inside Public Connect for each and every command, for each and every activity I want to perform. In this way, you can have the best of AI tools in the same AI chatbot for Telegram which you are creating. Now to Eden AI, we have given the text prompt and then we have selected the provider, voice and all the details. And in response, we have the URL, we have the link of the audio file given by Eden AI. So this is the audio file for the same text which we have given. Now we want to receive the audio file in response in our Telegram bot responses. So here you can see in the last step, we have once again added the Telegram bot action step. An action event is send an audio file. We have mapped the chat ID, we have entered the caption, the prompt given by user, and we have the file URL given by Eden AI in the response. And the same file URL, the same audio file generated by Eden AI will be sent to us as an audio in for text to speech. So this was the complete automation workflow which we have created inside Public Connect and using Public Connect, we have combined the power of AI and automation. Now after this, let's see another example and let's try generating some text. So I'm going to give a prompt as slash text. So we saw the example for text to speech and image generation. Now let's generate some text. I want to write a blog on automation and AI. So I'm giving this prompt that I want to write a blog on automation and AI. Now, as I give this prompt, we will see within few seconds using AI, this automation which we have created, this bot is going to take this message to our public connect workflow. The automation workflow will trigger. It will check that using which route it want to continue the automation. We have entered slash text. So the automation will be continued using the text route and using chat GPT, it is going to generate the blog, write the content. And in response, within few seconds, we will get the content, the blog written by chat GPT 4 in the reply of this bot. So what we have to do after sending the prompt, we just have to wait for a few seconds. In the meantime, what you can do, you can check the history section of your public connect workflow. And here in the history section, you will see execution, each and every execution of this particular automation workflow over here. Now what we are going to do, we will just wait for a few seconds for this blog. And yes, within few seconds, you can see the blog or the content text content is automatically generated using ChatGPT, and we have the same text content as a reply from the blog. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Public Connect, connecting our Telegram bot with multiple AI platforms, this Public Connect automation is working perfectly fine. Now, as I told you, you just don't have to create this whole automation workflow by yourself. You will get the clone link of the workflow in the description box below. And by clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Public Connect account. Now, if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, click on subscribe to get more content on automation integration and AI. And if you have any kind of doubts, queries, or if you want a step-by-step -step video on creating this automation workflow with any other application, write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.